Hi everyone, in this video we will insert uh, forum data into the database Okay, using PHP. I am using Zump server, I have installed it and I have created a folder in C drive, Zamp and htdocs for the name of which okay, I have created this folder and I have two files db connection and upload.php so let's go there so let's write our code first we will create the connection uh, with the uh, uh, mysql okay with some server so to create the connection let's start php script connection is equal to mysql i connect and here first thing is that our server our server is local host then the username, the username is the root by default and the password, we don't have password and then the database name, the database name is crud with us, okay let's show you the database name it's crud database name and crud operation um, table name and we have these fields in that columns now f con was equal to equal to with false Die connection error and display as my SQL I connect error. Okay, we wrote our connection, so now let's use it. So, here, uh, first of all, I will create a form to insert the data to the database. So, let's write HTML code for that insert data to db using php and just try the form here margin oh it should be style i will just write some style for this So all the input field would be for type should be text name should be name and set a place folder enter name same to this I will write for the email and for the address email with us name should be email enter email and simply the address text name should be address and enter address let's write a button uh, let's remove it. submit and Type should be submit and name is equal to it submit. So now whenever we press this button, so we should wait to go. If we would like to um, pass our data to a separate file, for example, I would like to write my code in a separate file in a separate PHP file. So then I should mention that okay in the action. Action is equal to I should for example there is a file by the name upload. Data.php. I have created that here. So then I should write something like this. If I would like to write the PHP code in the same file, so then I don't need this. I will just write them the method. The method should be post. So now let's write our PHP script. And here I will uh, first I will uh, import include the connection include db connection dot php that we have created in okay, our connection uh, here if is set to if the submit was set 
submit if it was zip so then uh, we will get our data first is the name is equal to host name same to this we have email and address let's write semicolon so after that we will use our we will write our query so i will use the um, query is equal to mysql i query in this function and first i will pass the connection variable i have created in this file okay this connection this one after that i will write my query here insert into a uh, crud operation and then i will specify the column name first one is the name then the email and the address i hope the column names are the same so let's check it yeah name email and address after that the values the values the first value would be name the second one would be email and the third one would be address After writing this, so now let's check if the query was okay. So then we will find something just like echo. Alert. Data inserted. Successfully. Else. There is an error. So now let's send our this file. So let's come to the Chrome. First we will go to the local host, then the fetch folder. Okay, in the fetch folder we will go to upload.php. Okay, we have uh, so it should be a button. Double T okay. Okay, we have this data. So first of all, let's enter the name. Uh, Khan, Khan at gmail or yahoo.com and the address should be like new address shifted. After that, let's press the submit button. Uh, the data didn't enter, I think. I didn't execute it. A method is post form and the type submit name submit and let's come here include db connection dot php f is sit post submit we will take the data and we will insert into crud crud it the name mistake okay crud operation name email address values yeah so let's check it so let's enter the name at yahoo.com and name press shift submit it not entered again what uh, where is the error so let's check it my sql i query so just the problem was that was not we were not getting this message because we should wrap it in the single quotation the message alert message and now let's come here and just refresh the page and make it like this come here Khan, Khan at yahoo dot 
go and new address right now we don't have in database this uh, record list appreciate see we don't have that record so now let's change that it press the submit data is that it successfully okay so now let's come and refresh it again see the new record has inserted to the database so it was all about um, inserting a record or data to the database using php if you have liked this video so please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching